Hi everyone, so today I want to do a tutorial kind of quickly, I think it's not going to take too long, um, using Spellbinder's new bonus item uh, for the Deluxe Caboodle for March of 2024. So if you have the Deluxe Caboodle coming, this will be in it. It's called Fairy Tales, a little die set. Super cute. Um, that's the only way you can get it, guys. I haven't seen them release, you know, these little special things like the Honey Wand from, I think, January or some of these other items. Um, I haven't seen them actually released on the site so I'm assuming they are exclusive but um, you know these were sent free of charge from my review and of course all opinions are my own and any links down in the description box will be affiliate links which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase I'm those links um, so yeah this is definitely packaged in a different way when you receive it than what I have here to share with you guys but we're just gonna jump right into it so again in the deluxe caboodle they'll include something extra and that's what is extra this month their little bonus item um, so we're gonna try it out we have you know um, our basic castle here and then it has like different accent pieces for like your little I guess they're called battlements right <laughs> where your little uh, uh, soldiers and things might uh, be ready to fight there you got some knights in there I don't know <laughs> anyway so you have that and then there's a piece for there uh, for this top portion um, and then your like turrets and spires and things there's a couple of accent ones like and here you can put that guy in, and then you have these guys to go on top um, I believe we'll find a place for this one, but I want to say it might go... Well, anyway, somewhere in here, obviously, this little shape. Um, and then and then you have um, this whole portion that goes, you know, like right in front. So there's lots of pieces to play with. There's little flags that can go on your um, turrets here. So really cool. So I'm going to grab some papers for that. Just to get started, I just start off with an A2 size card base. So if you're making your own, that'd be eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. And I just have a piece of white pearlescent cardstock. I thought that would be really pretty in the background. And I'm going to run it through the... Uh, 3D embossing folder this month's 3D embossing folder. It's lovely and I just think it's gonna be really fun in the background Of course you can make your own little magical background This does come with like little stars and cute things that you can also play with but that's cut at four and eighth by five and three eighths and I'm just trying to Get it about center here somewhere like that. I'll run that through it is a 3D embossing folder So you're going to do a special sandwich if you're using the universal plate that would be your Platform plus the adapter and that's it um and then I think I want to finish off with a couple other things. I saw some sentiments from when I didn't quite glimmer this month's glimmer. I just ran it through some metallic paper. So I have like, our story is my favorite. I thought that was cute. So we might use that. Um, I want to use maybe uh, the open book from the large die of the month and some other things. So I'll probably bring that out when we get there. So I will be right back. Okay, we have this gorgeousness. Oh yeah. And I'm just going to go ahead and glue that to my card base. Okay. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so um, what I'm going to do is maybe we'll make this a fun color on that part. So for this guy, I'm going to run through just some gray paper I have just in my stash. It's just gray. <laughs> I'll run that piece through. And then all these accent pieces, I'll run through this kind of shiny gray. It's an interesting color. So I think I'll run through that one and this one and this guy and this one. We'll probably do the turrets a little bit differently. So I'll run these guys through and we'll have those pieces. And we'll be ready to go. Uh, for my little book that's open, I'm just going to run this through some white paper. It can be just nice and crisp. That's fine. And then the accent piece to that is the piece that makes it look like the book binding. So may I run that through some black? Just so it kind of continues this colorway. And then we'll do something fun with these pieces. Okay, so we have our pieces for our open book. Again, that's from the large die of the month. And we'll just glue those together. I do have a couple things I want to point out on the little castle, so I hope I don't forget. <laughs> as far as like the accent pieces, um, one of them I went ahead and cut in that darker gray, but I think I'm going to change that out to a different color because I have dark gray accents that will also be on that same area. And I just don't think they'll pop if they're both the same color. So we have a little open book. Uh, let's get this guy. Okay, so this is our main piece here. You have this area that you have this guy for. And I'm thinking maybe I might run that through some brown paper and have like a little wood entrance there. That piece, you know, like a drawbridge kind of thing that would come down. I don't know. Uh, let me put this on here. Or black or whatever accent color you think would be good. Everything has like a little score mark where it goes so it's easy to see. What I was trying to mention about this other one, let me see if it already fell out. No, I have one more. Um, 
this piece, the one that was like, oh, it's probably one of the towers. And then I was like, hmm, it's because it's this piece right here that looks like a little Lego piece with a little chunk missing. It's going to go basically here. But if I already cut the other accent piece to be silver and then this accent piece to be like that dark silver, I don't want all three of these pieces to be that way. So I will probably cut this the same color as I cut these guys. All right, so I'm going to put that to the side for right now. And I think we can just go ahead and put the other pieces on. I don't think it's going to obstruct anything when I run it through later. So I have this accent piece here. Cute. Put it on there nice and straight. That'd be good. <laughs> and then there's another one right above this. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it that dark silver too. But if you want, you know, obviously a completely different color, that would be great. Ah. To me, I was just thinking of another color of like cement is what I was going with that and then this one goes here and then we also have this guy oh you know what mm, I don't oh yeah see there's little chunks missing from them, so it doesn't matter which one you put first or last or however be a little bit closer for you guys brand new work surface and I already got a huge glob of glue or something right here oh uh, yeah gotta clean that up and then this guy kind of tucks in here all right, this piece. So again, those are the same color, and I'm okay with that. I feel like for this one, it's okay. For the other one, it was just too much, and I don't think you'd see the difference. Okay, so we have those. Um, you know, behind the windows, you can paper piece back in if you cut out the same thing. I was just going to take some yellow paper and pop yellow behind there. You know, obviously black would look more gothic and fun, but if I'm going to use the... You know, our story is my favorite. I thought maybe bring some light in here, so that'd be cute. So I'm just going to... Going to Put some yellow pieces wherever they need to be, like, back in here. I mean, I, even, I just eyeballed that. I just trim some pieces down that will go in there. Okay, so to get this little drawbridge thing, I'm going to run the same large one through just a brown piece. Um, actually, it's from this one. Sorry, not that guy. This guy. Cuts it. So I'll run that one through some brown. And then run this little part of the tower this piece that goes there through a different color maybe some blue okay so blue and blue on this too and i will be right back hey guys i totally just eyeballed those and look at that one i just eyeballed it and it was like perfect because it does have thinner sides on that okay um my little door i mean if you want to run it through like an embossing folder you might have or it has like little lines in it that'd be cute to make it look like wood grain do some inking or something I don't know but there's that and here are these guys and I realized one's gonna be right here I believe so I was like okay I said I'm gonna run it through blue but okay maybe a different color blue so I went with this light blue that's gonna pop in here again this guy could have been the same kind of just like a different color just to coordinate whatever you want to do but I'm gonna pop that guy right there Okay, again, that tower one could have been like the same color. Lots of ways to play with this guy. Um, let me clean up just that. Well, actually, we can just move on. Okay, so I'm going to have another one here, a piece here, and then another one here. And that would be these guys. So you just kind of look at the base. Obviously, this is the smaller one. Now, you can put it in front or behind that area, to be honest. I'm going to put it on top. Right? You can also glue it to the back if you think that looks better. And this is the tallest one, or the biggest one, so I think that one goes right in that center. Try not to bend it. Right here, how cute. <laughs> and then this guy. And that's why I was like, ah, oh, I can't do them both the same color. They're right next to each other also. So this guy goes right in here. And it just puzzle pieces together so well. Like, it just clicks in, you know? Very cute. They did a really nice job with this one. It's adorable. At that and then some flags I was thinking red flags so I'm gonna run this through some red paper and I'll be right back through the little flags I also ran this through so I'll have some stars possibly that we'll add but two is not enough so I'm gonna keep running that through a couple more times and these look like they're pretty much all the same I don't think you have to pair it up exactly with one of them we'll see so I'll put the glue there Mm 
Yeah, they're pretty much the same. Okay, and I'll just pop the last one on and I'll okay, be right back. So I have a few stars. I figured, you know, I like odd numbers, so I ran it through three times. So we have six of them, so we have two groups of three or however I want to pop those on there. Um, okay, let's bring our card base back and see what we have so far. And then I have my sentiment. So really cute. Nice and sizable. Um, I figured I was going to pop that there. And this guy here. So let's go ahead and glue this guy down. I have a little smuts on there I don't want. <laughs> I'll probably pop up the sentiment or the book. Maybe a lower profile than a higher profile dimensional. Just a little bit there. So I like in here. I'm just eyeballing left and right. I'm going to hold that down for a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So there's that little cutie. And then we have our little book. And I already put some lower profile dimensionals behind that one. And maybe I'll put it like in here. And a little more this way. Okay. And then I have some dimensionals on the sentiment part. Our story is my favorite. It's higher than the dimension I just used. And I left the top open a little bit so I can kind of tuck this a little bit into there and of course I wanted that to also be straight I don't want it right on there I want it a little bit lower uh, okay <laughs> somewhere in there try to see how straight that is the book is kind of curved a little bit cute and then we have our little stars so you know I'll just place some glue where I think I should put these stars at and I'll pop those down. So it's just a quick tutorial and again, I mean, checking out the die is super cute. They did a really nice job of making it really fun and lots of detail for the amount of dies that's in there. I'll put another little group of stars here and there it is. Alright guys, so I'll have some images coming up for you. I'll have the links there in the description box. Again, if you're new, you can sign up now already. Um, you know, if you want to add this club on, I don't know if you would add it on because it's already um, has everything. So if you already signed up for something different, you know, I don't know. But um, I will have all the links there for you. And this is the only way to get the uh, fairy tale die. All right, guys, I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.